I fed the babies and went to the house to clean out Tahoe's bottle. Came back with all this because honey boy is swollen again. And I come back and they're all just talking amongst each other, like having their little bro group going. Huh. Tahoe. Tahoe. Hi. Hi, turkey butt. No, you're going to ignore me again. <laughs> Hi, buff. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby girl. You look a lot better than the other day. Hi, kisses. Hi, booms. Hi, boomer. Hi, mini moo. Hi, Cupid. Get you a nice shot of Bam in the morning. Well, I had the shop open for a couple hours, dropped it about two degrees in there. So the sun was hitting too much and shut it up quick. And I don't know what his problem is. He was standing over here at that gate, whining. Heard him when I come from the back barn. I fed this barn first. Then I went back and fed the steers and Wally and his group. I couldn't get it on video because everybody over here would not cooperate, but little Miss Paige and Buffalo were sparring, I think, with this little yearling girl. I think it was her, I'm not sure. Maybe the other little one out there by the water trough. As I walked around, I hear one hit the board over here because... With the exception of the yearling, they all ran into the calf pin and ran back out. And speaking of buffalo, what you doing, bud? And hernia boy's doing good. We still need to check and see how well he's healing up. I want to make sure the height's healed on him before they go out because we don't need him wandering into the creek and getting an infection in there. Yes, I'm talking about you. Good morning. God knows she needs to be with a bull, don't you? Yes, you want to be out there with your boyfriend, whether it's the one you like or not. And, of course, big girl and the other two in there haven't done anything yet. And you see Miss Paige over there, Miss Hope. I don't know why I said Paige. Jesus. Hope over there sneaking a bite from behind. And uh, it seems little Mr. Tahoe has been partaking in the dinner table there also. She can feed one of them. I don't think she can do both. So, Tahoe's going to be short-lived on there, especially if she goes out with the bull. Then they won't be near each other. But they have bonded pretty good. She's doing, you know, she's actually loving on Hope once in a while, so that's a good thing. But anyway, let's see what we get you working on an engine. It's already too freaking muggy out here. I didn't think it well. Humidity started going up last night, but we got a little drip in this downspout, and it's dripping. And that's not everything that goes down the downspout, but there's a wet spot there. And well, tires on the 3394, the loaded ones anyway. And actually, the outside duels too. The top halves were wet this morning. And it's already, I say, way, way too freaking humid. And today's supposed to be hotter than yesterday. Well, in reality, we weren't quite ready to go together yet anyway. Down there, I needed to get wire wheeled, which I just did. They all look better than they did. And up here, all that crap in the corner, that's got to come out of there. That's where a nice straight-ended screwdriver comes in really handy. Get it scraped out, get everything blown off. Um, we still need to see all the shit on the journals. We gotta take a rag and wipe those all off. And yeah, there's junk even on the, yeah, there you can kind of see on the cast drum, shining the light on and off. That's what come out of the water jacket. So we'll probably give her a quick gas rinse before we finish up. That'll get any crap that I'm doing now off everything. And hopefully 
Hopefully those are all clean enough. That's kind of hard to get to that. I, I don't think you can see it from the bottom either. All scraped out. Hose down again. A lot cleaner down there. We still got to wipe the journals off. But all in due time. Got uh, everything off there. Yeah, there's a little right in there yet. But it's also recessed in the corner there. They cut it out so that the square corner on the liner will fit in. So one came out, should go back in. A little bit of shitter on that yet. But anyway, now I guess we're going to start the front part. we got to clean everything up underneath it. Start wiping stuff down and swapping bearings around. Hey, guess what? I ain't done nothing up there for a while. A friend of mine stopped by. One of the owners of Hillsborough Diesel, he's been off work with some health issues. He's getting that sorted, but guess who he missed? He didn't get to see Bug. Or Blakely. She says her butt's right there. It's always right here. Spit the fucking head down for so, over a month. So, I, I think Blakely's ready to come out, but she don't want to come out in this hot weather. I don't blame her a bit. But, anyway, it was, was great to see. Oh, so you haven't seen him for a couple of years, and he's doing good. That's a good thing. And uh, we discussed Kayleen, who Brooke went to diesel school with, who is finishing up her diesel school, and Ozzy says, "Have her call the shop because they're looking for techs." So, and that brings us to Brooke because he goes, "Well, if she's not working there. She can come work for us." <laughs> Anyway, that's what I know. And she's here. The, uh, you know, the one that's got certification to work on air conditioning and but doesn't know how to do it, so I get to charge her pickup because Blakely says it's getting too warm in the pickup. Hey, just because I'm certified, that means I understood the test about the Yeah, she can pass the test. I can't pass the test, but I can work on it. Go figure. Anyway. She needs to learn. Yeah, that's what I got you for. Well, those are old bearings. Started out. Ty's been working on this. I've been making with the AC on Brooks pickup. Don't understand. There's two connections on the low pressure line. And I just found something on Google that said, oh, no, there's an orifice between the two. One's actually the high-pressure connection. Might explain why the cap didn't fit right on the low-pressure line I hooked to, because it's a high-pressure cap. So I might have to go out and try that again, because I, I don't like putting stuff in those, and I don't know what the high-pressure side is. And uh, my experience is usually on the low-pressure, say pick a boo. Um, I, I've done systems where the low-pressure has been 20, and... Uh, had an old mechanic tell me once that the lower you can keep that, as long as everything works, the colder it'll be. Oh, sorry, stuck on a creeper. <laughs> stuck next to a creeper. <laughs> so, anyway, on this thing, low pressure, high pressure. I didn't think about it until a minute ago, but both caps on the other high pressure caps mm -hmm. explains why the cap didn't fit right because they're supposed to be fairly snug onto the coupler and they screw on internally and they're the same size internal so I may have to go back out and do that maybe I can get her pickup fix after all I got it working better but not like I want it it's still cycling and it shouldn't be but anyway Ty's been trying to roll these out. I helped her get them that far just a little bit ago. I got to thinking about it. I used to have a piece of stainless. Spin you around. Had maybe that much of a curve in it. And then hooked back. And it was long enough to get it started behind the bearing and finish pushing it out. I can't find it. She can't find it. Maybe I need to go outside and look up and ask the old man what the hell he did with it. Oh, yeah, and while we're here, see if those show up. Nice thunder bumpers. Those are stacked up on the coast range. 
or on the Cascade rather. And if I were to walk out there and look back, we could see them over the coast range too. They've been building up and then dropping, which is kind of weird. And uh, <clears throat> our friends in Alberta, their smoke right now is about 40 miles that way. It's the other side of Portland. That's what they said on the news anyway. And Ty says they had it up at Manning last night. And another one. <clears throat> she says, oh, we. Of course, they've had a few small fires up there, which probably brought some smoke in anyway. Um, another quickie. You know, I, I try to remember to return favors. Kev's Can Cave. I told him how to drop links and that kind of thing. And he likes to give a lot of shout outs. And he just put a video up. Shouted me out. Appreciate that, Kev. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy. And, uh, sorry about all the, you know. Um, so, anyway, if you haven't checked him out, check him out. He's got some cool content. He's got him a old military motorcycle and collection of cans and a lot of other neat old stuff. So, I, I drop his link, but I know sure as hell I'll forget to do that later. Because that's I, I forget to do it. But I guarantee he'll be in the comments. He's usually one of the first five in. Sometimes he gets number one. Uh, click on his little icon thing and take you right to his channel. So anyway, thanks again, Kev. I really appreciate that. I don't do enough shout outs anymore, but you know, get too freaking busy and don't forget to do them. I mean, realistically, you want to check anybody out, just look look down through my comment section, pick anybody. You got Tractor Talk with Gary, you got Bryce, um, Jeremy Cheney, which is Farming with Treasures now, but it pops up and says Jeremy Cheney. He's been putting out some good videos. I know I'm forgetting a bunch of you guys, but they're all there. And I'm not forgetting yet. It's just a, yeah, it's one of those days and my brain ain't working. So anyway. I'm going to see if I can find something that will sneak up in there and push them out so we can roll the new ones in. It's uh, already way too freaking hot, and it's humid like hell today, so I'm enjoying it in here for a little bit. It's way cooler in here than it is out there, because where have I been? Right out there in front of the service truck. Why? Because that's where all my AC stuff is. And... I got about another hour if I'm going to try to do something with that before Brooke has to leave. She's actually with her mother and went up to see Becky's dad because Brooke has not been up there in quite a few months. Get her up there, let her dad see her while she's definitely pregnant. So that's what they're doing, but she's got to pick her boyfriend up here in a couple hours from work. So. I mean, good thing is they both work at the same place. The bad thing is they don't have the same hours. She swapped Monday for today because she had doctor's appointments today. So, anyway. Oh, yeah. She was getting messages earlier. Guys at work worried about her. What? Did she go have the baby already? No, she just had a doctor's appointment. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, that's enough gabbing. Yep, you're right. Monkey on a creeper. That's fun with that front one. Um, the rear bearing is the thrust. It's, we don't have it out yet. The others are in except for the front two, and she is sliding the top half of the front one in right now. We had to finish taking it out to get number two to finish coming or finish going in. We got number two out, couldn't get it in. And so. Let's cap off, and that was enough to let number two go in, and she got number one out. And I said she's attempting to get it in there, but you know, talked before about that axle bolster right there. You know, if they'd have made this tractor six inches longer, or turn that axle around, put that bolster to the front, that'd be wide open to get in there. Would save so much trouble. I mean, everything literally barely squeaks in there, no matter what you do. Oh, 
Anyway, that's the way it is. I just told her a couple minutes ago, I'm pretty much freaking down. I feel like shit. I've had too much heat. The humidity, well, it's, it's 90 degrees here in the shop. Huh? What? Huh? She's mad. She wants to finish. And it's, I have no idea what the humidity is, but it's so freaking high today and ain't funny. I've used less paper towels cleaning up parts than I have wiping the sweater out from away from my eyes so I can see the clean parts up. Not to mention working on Brooks pickup. That didn't do me any good either. Because I was yeah, out in the open. And she's trying to hit herself. My entertainment, you can enjoy it too. They have been a pain in the ass roll in these bearings. In. I didn't find that piece I was looking forward to roll them out with, but I found a little piece. I know it's laying uh, right there. It's like a little piece of 16th by 1. I formed it to fit one of the bearings that were pretty good. Just the number two, it just we couldn't push it out with that until we got everything looser. And we're running out of bearings. Those two and the thrust is all that's left. And after they are in, then we start on all that shit. Anyway, I have no idea how long the video is, but it's going to be about the time to make the end of it. May or may not get you something else. At any rate, you've seen our hump day. We've been getting humped. Not in a good way, either. So, hopefully y'all had a good hump day. Hopefully everybody has a good Thursday. Thank you for watching. And yeah, if there's more, you'll see it. I do know I got a couple clips from Ty. If I remember, they'll be at the beginning. But they might be at the end if you didn't see them yet.